you're driving down the road in Tennessee in the fall and you smell the smoke from the tobacco barns and you want to plant a fall garden, guess what? You may be too late. We're going to talk to Tom Anderson and he's going to tell us how to plan what we're going to plant. So Tom, talk about the vegetables and, and the timing. The cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower, which you have right here. I, I plant those, start them uh, inside so I can transplant, but I start them by the middle of July. Well, the weather starts getting cooler and I get so many leaves on them, then I will put them out. I transplant these about, because it takes around 13 weeks from the time you uh, start seed until time to maturity. Yeah, so. that's what I was gonna say. A cabbage can take 80 days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you time that? Because as we go into fall, well, we lose sunlight, don't we? The days that, are shorter. That's right. But it also gets a little cooler. The cool so, makes them grow. That's right. But it don't, you don't have to have coolness for them to, tra to germinate. All right, okay, that makes sense. I had that wrong. But I germinate them inside until, because if you, if you try germinating out here, then squirrels could dig in your garden yes. or whatever. So we germinate them inside to get transplanting size, which is usually about four, three, four inches tall. And then I put them out here usually about uh, in August. Well, Tom, you have taken away your summer garden. It's quite obvious. Now, you started out with some barren soil. What did you do to prepare these beds for your fall plantings? Right here with the peas, I had tomatoes. Oh. I pulled the tomatoes out and I just added compost. I'll add three to four inches of compost. And I, I, I make my, a lot of my own compost. A, few, a little bit I have to buy if I run low. Well, you use a lot. <laughs> but but uh, I make a lot and I've still got it. I've got compost bins sitting everywhere. Yeah. And so then I just put the compost in here. So you- And I, I will, uh, the fertilizer I use, I like Joe's uh, the vegetable and tomato actually. Uh -huh. It has a high potassium number. Yes, that's for the fruiting low, part. Yeah, and, and a low nitrogen. Yes, so you have no plant. That's right. If you use a lot of nitrogen, then you're just going to have a lot of green greenery. And exactly. No exactly. potassium. I use a little bit of vermiculite. I'll use it to, to lighten it up, lighten yeah. the compost up. It's a raised bed, yeah, raised so bed. you have good drainage. Yeah, perfect drainage. Well, Tom, let's say you grew green beans here. What do you do with those plants? When I get ready to harvest the green, uh, take up the green beans, I cut the vine off at the ground. Why is that? Because legume, which is what a green bean is, they collect the nitrogen out of air and forms on the roots. And you see the little white nodule around on the roots. Okay. So you, you cut it off at ground level and let keep the, nitrogen, the roots in there, but hold the nitrogen in the soil. Well, that, that's definitely good to know. How long ago did you plant these peas? Last week in August. Well, and we still had lots of good warm weather, didn't we? Yeah, but, that, but that gave the roots time, time to, to establish. Yes. And now see that this last week we had cold weather. Yes. They jumped about six or eight inches during Isn't that, that one week. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, just cause, of, and now it's warm again. So like I say, you can't control the weather. Right. But if you don't get peas started, if you start trying to start them now, they ain't gonna They're make not gonna it. grow. Exactly, and it's evident um, the methods that you are using to plant. You've planned, you've prepared, and you've planted. And so from what we see beside us and behind us, we can tell the things that you've sown in the ground, and then obviously the collards, is that collards? Oh, here's collards, yeah. Yes, those were a transplant. That's transplant. And so they're already ready to be eaten. Well, matter of fact, I've already harvested one set of leaves off of them. We got them in the freezer. We want to take away disappointment. Whether you're a new gardener or a seasoned gardener, That's right. you want to plan to be successful with what we do. That's right. And I think you've given tips that will help even the seasoned gardener well, this morning. Well, I've learned a lot through my years. Exactly. From older people that Taught, how to, taught me how to garden, and I don't. I like to pass it along well, to everyone. Well, you're very generous, but both your physical labor and your mind knowledge. And thank you thank, so much. Thank you. Thank you. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel, and like us on Facebook.